I've always been a very curious kid. When I was five years old, I got my first Atari game system from my dad for my birthday. And I wanted to know how the space invaders lived inside the machine. And so I did what any other curious five-year-old would do. I grabbed a hammer and I smashed it into pieces. Now, I didn't find any space invaders in the machine, but I learned a very valuable lesson, especially from my dad. But I learned that there's a definite separation between the virtual world and the physical world, and that it's been this way for a long time. Over the last hundred years, we've just glimpsed into this virtual world. It's a place of unending possibilities. And it began with the radio. We could listen in. With television, we could see a world away. And finally, with computers and the internet, we had the ability to have this two-way communication. And this is the technology that advertisers have had to work with. Market research began in the 1920s during the golden age of radio as advertisers discovered they could segment audiences by programs. And this remained fairly unchanged during the broadcast era of television. Fast forward to the 1990s and 2000s, and advertisers could optimize their ad spend based on performance. But it's been really over the last five years we've seen this convergence, this convergence of mobile, social, and geolocation information combined with sophisticated machine learning. And this has changed the landscape yet again. This technology has been largely reserved for the web. That is until now. About 10 years ago, this film Minority Report was released. And it's probably not a day that goes by that we don't hear this uh, film reference to what we do. And this film helped shape the, our vision of the future. And we marveled over the technology that was in this film. But much of this technology is available today. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. In the film, John Anderton, Tom Cruise uses his hands to control a gesture-based computer. A company in California called Oblong is developing a technology that's very similar. There's also a scene when John Anderton walks by these holographic displays, and these displays call out to him with personalized advertisements. And this type of technology is set to disrupt traditional marketing and advertising. Our technology, we've been developing this technology that uses anonymous facial recognition in combination with artificial intelligence. And we are able to determine age, gender, attention time, and this even works with large crowds. And the technology is basically a simple low-cost sensor that fits on any existing digital sign, signs you might see in malls or airports or shopping centers. And our first deployment is going to be actually this fall. One interesting thing to note is that the system actually learns based on who looks at the system and who doesn't. It's a learning system that is not necessarily tailored specifically where you're not going to get men looking at male ads and female looking at female ads. It's going to be based on a number of variables, including weather, the time of day, the day of the week, and taking the methodology that was applied online and bringing it to the offline world. Today's retail environment is an analog model awaiting a digital transformation. Right now, there are very limited options. Even if there is a digital sign like you see here in this mall, advertisers can only either randomly rotate ads or they can manually schedule a playlist. We're entering into a time of personalization that will transcend the web. Technologies like facial recognition, gesture-based computing, and mobile technology will radically transform the, uh, the offline landscape. Now this brings into question the issue of privacy and the information that's available about us, both online and offline. But if you think back to the year 2002, when the film Minority Report was first released, back then we were worried about online credit card transactions, cookies invading our privacy, and many of us suffered with pop-ups in our browsers. And so it's important to note that things have changed since then. It's no longer about bombarding consumers with ads. It's about providing a better experience and empowering consumers with more options and better choices. What if a screen was smart enough to invite you into the experience where your phone was your wallet and everything that was once offline was now online? But think far beyond advertising and market research for a moment. The theme of this TEDx is called Imagine. So I'd like you all to imagine 
that the technology we all use on a daily basis, our iPads and tablets and cell phones, computers, that this is a parallel dimension. And we're looking into it as if we're just glimpsing into a window. But what if this window could open up? We're seeing a time, for the very first time ever, where we're witnessing the merging of this virtual world with the physical world. What if this technology doesn't disrupt traditional marketing and advertising? But what if this changes the very idea of reality itself? What's real and what's not real? From Atari Space Invaders to Kinect's slogan of, you are the controller, to there is no controller, no screen, no online or offline, just the world. Thank you.